Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a story time slash get ready with me. But the main focus of today's video is the story time. Although I will be linking all the products that I'm using down below. I already know myself. Most likely I'll probably forget. So in case I forget to link everything down below, I will be showing the products that I'm using as we go. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so today's story time, I'm going to tell you guys about how I got scammed by a skincare brand. And today's story time is very juicy very juicy so get a coke get some tea some water a shot <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I already did my brows off camera for my brows I use the LA girl brow pomade this one is in dark brown I've been obsessed with this it's super cheap super inexpensive and it's actually really good for the brow so next I'm going to prep my eyelids I'm gonna see how this goes because I'm very bad at telling a story and getting ready so again this is not like a tutorial it's just me telling you the story so for my eyelids I'm going to be using the Tarte shape tape concealer this is in the shade medium and I think for this month pretty sure you guys are familiar with it because I always talk about it I've been signed up with life glam for a little bit over two years I think now so this is the morphe me brush subscription so I have to let you guys know about it and know this video is not sponsored by life glam I just really want to show you guys because you guys know that my channel is about looking good in a budget saving as much money as we can and this month is a heck of a deal so life glam has the morphe me brush subscription where every month you receive three to eight brushes for $19.99 that includes your shipping and handling for this month you get a total of five brushes so basically you get four eye brushes and one face brush but you can use my code makeup by PETA or use the link down below in the description box you guys don't have to use my code or the link this is just if you want to or if you want to grow your brush collection you guys are more than free to use my code to help my channel out but if you don't want to that's totally fine so if you do use my code makeup by PETA you will receive these five brushes plus one more for free so that's six more free brushes for $19.99 so let's get started with the story time because that's what you're here for so let me tell you guys how it all started. So I get a lot of brand deals every single day um, asking me that they want to work with me and everything. So this particular brand deal, Jason, you guys are familiar with Jason. Jason is my boyfriend. So Jason is sort of like my manager in a way. Jason brings all the brand deals. He responds to emails. I'm giving you guys a little bit of a backstory so you can be very familiar with how everything went down. So Jason takes care of like the brand deal guys and he is always doing his research and not only does he think about me like am I going to love the brand deal we both think about you guys like okay are you guys gonna like this is it worth you know spending your hard-working money because I never want to recommend anything to you guys that doesn't work this skincare brand reached out to me the first time Jason responded saying that we were really gonna look into it and see if we wanted to proceed with the brand deal right so Jason was like you know what we'll look into it and then we'll see if we want to keep working with you guys they said it was totally fine and they were gonna wait so a couple of days passed by Jason told me about it and I was a little bit sketchy I was like you know what let me go ahead and do my own research I want to look into the brand and all that stuff um, so I forgot to do my research and look into the brand and so they did a second follow-up like hey we really want to work with you and at the second follow-up I'm like, okay like let me really look into the brand so I had a couple of questions and by the time I had a couple more questions about the brand they did a third follow-up and at this point I'm like okay like this company really wants to work with me so then I respond back I asked for all the information that I wanted I really got to know the brand and I was like oh my god this is very neat it's actually very cool they told me the concept of like the whole skincare like everything how it worked and everything I was like oh my god this is really good for my pita chips and if I was to tell you the name of the skincare brand you'll know what skincare brand it is but for legal purpose I can't tell you what the brand is right I can spill the tea but not all the tea <laughs> so let me go ahead see I'm telling you this is a little bit hard let me continue to my shadow because this is how I get distracted okay so for my eyes I'm going to be using this which is the shadow me by life glam this sounds so sponsored but I swear it's not sponsored guys um, this is the shadow me by life glam palette they actually now released a palette so I feel like they have like the whole shebang bang now they have like everything brushes lips eyes everything okay but anyways so this is the palette for this month, which is the PS I Love You. And I already did some swatches on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me. I'm going to show you guys. This is the PS I Love You palette. 
and that's what the shadows look like. This is the palette that I'm going to be working with today. So if you guys are interested in this palette, it works the exact same way. All their subscriptions are $19.99, but for the palette is bi-monthly. So this palette, you will actually receive it for June, and you won't receive another palette till August. Okay, and I forgot to tell you guys, all these subscriptions, you can cancel at any time or skip. Like, for example, if you just want to get your hands on this expressions and then cancel after that, you can do that. Or you can go ahead and skip a month until you get a really good deal when it comes to the brushes. Um, so this one is bi-monthly. You pay $19.99 also with um, shipping included already but this one if you use my code makeup by Peter or the link down below you'll get the palette plus a free lippy of your choice for $19.99 for your first month so if you guys are interested in this so let's continue with the story so at this time um, they really want to work with me I you know start they start sending me more information about it and all that stuff and I'm like hey you know what they tell me the concept of everything I'm like okay good sounds good so before I ever sign a contract guys or give a yes to a company what I do is I go ahead and ask for the products in advance so I can go ahead and test them out first you guys mean so much to me that I am always like, I have to recommend something to you guys that I truly love and truly believe in and that I know you guys are going to enjoy and not just spend your hardworking money and not like a product. So I always ask a company, hey, can I go ahead and get the products ahead of time so I can test them out and then I'll let you know if we'll move forward or not. So she told me, it was a girl by the way, the girl that worked for the company that contacted me. They send me the products. I receive the products, I test out the products guys, and the thing that really sucked was that their products actually work. Right now my skin is a little bit bad because it's that time of the month, you know. But I was testing out the products and I told you, so I was like, dang, this skincare brand is actually pretty good. And at this time, you guys are already asking me on Instagram Live and like on my videos, oh my God, Lupita, tell us what you're using for your skin. It looks so good. And I was even noticing that my skin cleared up and it looks so radiant and so glowy. I really do want to share with you guys what I was using, but I just wanted to wait till I uploaded the video. So I kept on using the products. I really loved it. I was so, so excited. So days go by and I contact her back and I'm like, hey, you know what? I want to move forward with the brand deal. And so me and Jason do even more research and we're like, okay, it looks pretty legit because you always have to be very cautious with the brand deals you take because this is not the first time this has happened to me, okay? So we were very careful and we we're like, okay, let's do even more research. So we started doing a little bit more of the research, right? And we're like, no, it seems pretty legit. Let's just go ahead and move forward with it. So I send the contract to my lawyer and I'm like, hey, I have this brand deal. I need you to revise it because contracts, that's a big thing. You really need to know what you're signing. So I send the contract to my lawyer, to my attorney, and I'm like, hey, like, I'm ready for this brand deal. I just am waiting for your call to tell me if I should move forward with the brand deal or not. Read the contract and let me know what you think. So my attorney is like, hey, you know what? There's nothing wrong with the contract. Here's what you can do. Everything seems good. You can go ahead and start signing. I'm like, okay, yes, great. So I move forward. I sign the contract. So I go ahead, hop on a call with her. I also email it to her how I was planning to film the video. She gives me the green light, like, you're good to go, I love it, it looks fine, I think it'll do great. Keep in mind, this is also very important, they ask me for the age range of you guys. So, if you have a YouTube channel, then you're very familiar. So, on YouTube, it tells you what percentage is male, what percentage is female, what percentage of your audience is 18 to 25 years old, 25 to 35, 35 to 50, all that stuff. So, they asked me for that because they wanted to know what kind of audience I had and they were like, oh my god, your audience is like the perfect fit. So, I'm telling you guys because this is very important, so remember this part. So, I go ahead and sign the contract. So, by the time I signed the contract, I still had a couple of weeks till I started filming the video so she told me I'll let you know when you have the green light to start filming the video and then I'll let you know when we need the final edit and then when you can post it live so I'm like okay great so days go by and I then get an email and she tells me hey I'm no longer going to be working for the company the CEO of the company is taking over my spot and at this point when something like this happens guys a lot of things can go bad because it's like switching people right away. Like you talk with this person, you make the deal with this person, this person gives you the green light, and then you're switching to someone else that can have a completely different view for the video. So I'm like, oh my God, I told Jason, I'm like, 
she's no longer going to work for the brand. What am I gonna do? Like, what if the CEO doesn't agree? I already signed the contract. And you know, I reached out to my attorney. He's like, you shouldn't have no problem. You guys signed the contract. You guys came to an agreement and both parties signed it. So you should be good to go. And I'm like, okay, good. If you're telling me everything should be fine, then everything should be fine. So then what happens is the CEO takes over and I start talking to him. But here's the thing, before the CEO took over, I had already given her like the template of what I was gonna do for the whole video. And this video was gonna take me approximately two days to film, like the entire video, two days. And she said, no, yes, it's fine, go ahead and go for it. And then she tells me, hey, let's hop on a call with the CEO because he wants to know what you're gonna do with the video. And at this point, I'm like, oh my God. I did not have a good feeling, guys. I already kind of had an idea that something was gonna go wrong. Like something in me told me, oh my God, this is just gonna go downhill right away. So, you know what, let me go ahead, girl, let me go ahead and finish off my eye and then we'll continue with the story time, okay? Because I can't like concentrate and do both of my eyes at the same time. Okay, I am back, the eyes are all done. We're gonna move on to the face and continue with the story. So I'm gonna be using this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've been obsessed with this primer, it's really good. So, we're gonna move on to the story. I left off in where she told me that she was no longer going to work for the company and that she wanted me to hop on a call with the CEO of the brand so I can go ahead and tell him basically what I had told her but so he can approve it and tell me what he wanted and if he was okay with it. So I said yes for sure, let's go ahead and get on a call. So um, the day comes, I get the call and he introduces himself to me and she is also on the line so it's a three-way it's me the ceo of the of the company and then herself so we start talking and she tells me go ahead and tell what you have planned for the video so i tell him hey you know what i think they're really going to enjoy this and you know i'm gonna film the video this way i'm gonna do this i basically give him the rundown of the entire video what i was gonna do for the entire video from the title to the thumbnail, everything. At this point, I start to get a little bit concerned because whatever I would tell him, he would tell me he had like a different vision for the video and the girl kept telling me that's fine as long as your audience loves it and whatever works best for your channel. We don't want you to be like someone else you're not. We just want you to stay original with the content that you always create. I was like, okay, great. So as she was saying that, he would repeat again what he had just said. Kind of like telling me in a way, like, don't do what she's saying, do what I'm doing. But they were just confusing me because they both had like two different perspectives for the video, yet they were both giving me like the green light, like the go, like you're fine, film the video. So as he tells me what he wants, she tells me, no, I think it would just be better if we just keep it how you had it. And keep in mind, guys, I'm on the phone on a three-way. I have them on speaker. I'm looking over the contract. In my mind, I'm like, what's going on? Like, you know, it's like they both had two. It was just weird. And at this point, I'm very confused. I'm like, oh, my God, this is starting to be so sketchy. So we talk on the phone. We go back and forth. And then at the end, they're like, yeah, just go ahead and keep the guideline that you created. Basically, the template that you created for the entire video is good to go. You can go ahead and start filming the video. Send us the rough draft by this certain day so we can go ahead and revise it and give you the green light for you to post it. So I go on with filming the video, guys. In this video, I was so excited to post it. It took me two days to film the video. I record the video, guys, and I edit it. I edit that video so good. And I was okay. This is gonna be great. I don't see why there should be an issue. And keep in mind, whenever I film videos, guys, I plan my entire week ahead of time. So like, let's say today is Monday. I am already have the whole next week planned. So if a video doesn't get approved, if something doesn't go right, I'm backed up a whole week. So that affects me, you know what I mean? So I already had everything planned. This video is gonna go this way, this and that. I try to keep myself very organized. I'm very bad at it, I procrastinate a lot, but Jason's very good at it. So he helps me maintain myself organized. So I'm like, okay, this should be good to go. I send over the video to him because at this point, the girl was no longer with the company. Like, she was already gone. So I send over the video to him and you guys will not believe what he tells me. First of all, this is the CEO of the company. The CEO. I'm sitting down 
it's a day, a day before I post the video. And he replies, and I'm over here doing something else. And Jason calls me. He's like, you will not believe what he just told us. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? I thought he was like joking around. And he's like, go ahead and read the email. So let me, let me stop my concealer to tell you this part. So I go to the computer. I'm reading the email. And as I'm reading the email, my jaw drops. And I'm like, what in the world just happened? What in the world just happened? Like, what's going on? And so I read the email and he basically says, you know, I really like your video, but it seems like you're not yourself. And that's where my jaw dropped. Like, are you insulting me, telling me that I am not being myself in my video? Like, do you even watch my videos? Like, have you ever sat down and watched all of my content? Like, how are you gonna tell me I'm not being myself? That's the first thing, and I'm a little bit confused. The second thing is, he says, it seems like a skincare brand is not gonna suit your audience because of the age range. And I'm like, okay, first of all, anyone can use skincare no matter what age range you are. It seems like this is not gonna suit your audience. Oh my God, she asked me for the analytics. She asked me for the age range. How much percentage was female? How much percentage was male? What the age difference was? Like everything. Yet she said, perfect, this should work for your audience. And the CEO comes and says, no, it's not gonna work for your audience. It's not gonna work for the age range that your channel has. And it seems like you're not being yourself. And it seems like the skincare brand is not a perfect fit for you. And I was like, Oh my God, like what just happened? Like, what did I do wrong? And you wanna hear the next part? He said, since we, you will not be posting the video, we will not be paying you for the video and what we had agreed on the contract. That's when I just lost shit. Not because I care about the money, but because this is my job. This is my job and I love my job. Like I, I wake up every morning and I'm like, thank you God for the job that I had because this was always my dream and I'm able to now live my dream and film videos for you guys and talk to you guys and sit here and it's my job, you know? So I was like, are you serious? Like I spent two days filming this video for you. I put my hard work to it. I sat down, planned the video, sent you the template. I told you what I was gonna do exactly in the video and you said yes, yet you watch a video and then you change your mind. Like it just doesn't make sense. I go back with my attorney and I'm like, hey, like, you have to read back this contract. Like, this is what happened. You know, I call my attorney, I'm like, this just happened. Like, what can we do? Like, can he do this? Like, can he at least pay me for the work that I put into the video? Like, what can we do? And so I, you know, tell my attorney, like, what do I say back? And my attorney replies, he's like, go ahead and send him this. Send this, what I just sent you, and then let me know what he says. So I reply back, I copy and I paste what my attorney sent me and I sent it to him. Guys, he didn't even try. He didn't even respond. Like no respond at all. He didn't even respond. He didn't even try. Nothing. Like, can you imagine you work so hard in something and then they tell you, oh, we're not going to pay you. Sorry. That's it. And then you reply, expecting a reply back from the CEO. I never uploaded the video. I never got paid for the work I did. I never even got a reply or not even, a, I'm so sorry. And then you know what he told me? This is the part that I think got me the most upset. I think we didn't do a lot of research into your channel on our side. And I was like, okay, like this is the part that I think I was the most confused. Yet your employee reached out to me three times, three follow-ups. That means that your company, your brand really wanted to work with me. And you cannot tell me that you guys didn't do your research well because his employee would watch my videos. So she knew my content. She knew what I uploaded. She knew everything. Yet he says, it looks like on our side, we didn't really do a lot of research on your channel. And I was like, oh my God. I was so upset guys. It just because he was so unprofessional. Like, if you don't like my video, if you don't like me as a creator, let me know, just tell me, but don't be making up stuff that makes no sense. Be very careful because there's a lot of companies out there that just wanna scam you and it's, just be very, very aware, okay? Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to be using 
the Life Glam Kiss Me subscription. I'm telling you guys, they have a subscription for like brushes, eyes, and lips. Pretty much for everything now. These are the colors for this month. The packaging is so pretty. I can't get over the packaging for this month. It's so nice. So these lipsticks as well, you do get three lippies each month for $19.99. You can get mattes, glosses. They vary. They also send you a great variety of colors. And if you guys want to sign up for the subscription, you guys don't have to. Like I said, it's just if you would like to. You can use my code MAKEBYPETA or use the link down below where it says get a free lipstick. And you receive these three lippies for this month plus one more free of your choice. So that's four lippies for $19.99. And these are the colors. Let me do some quick swatches. Ooh, yes. Okay, so this is gonna be hard. I think I'm gonna use, let's see. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of the brown and then put that pink one on top. I look like I have chola lips right now, right? <laughs> this reminds me, oh my God, let me tell you guys something. I've always wanted to do a tutorial of how my sister used to do her makeup back in the days. Oh my god, she's going to kill me that I said that. Back in the days, she's gonna be like, bitch, what did you say? Back in the days. <laughs> but I wanted to do a tutorial of how my sister used to do her makeup because you know how like back then they used to like put like very dark brown eyeliner and then like a gloss in the middle and they used to take those pictures and like those star backgrounds. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about in the comments down below. I've been wanting to film a tutorial of that for the longest, but I'm just like, oh, should I film it? Should I not film it? But I think I am definitely going to film it this week for you guys. I think it'll be something different and fun. And this is the final look. What do you guys think about my makeup? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, guys, I'm going to try my best to link everything down below, but in case I don't link it, then just go through the video and I tell you guys every single product that I use. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's story time. If you guys like story times, give this video a big thumbs up. It also helps a lot my channel. And don't forget to leave a sweet comment in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the Pitacha family and guys again Stay very aware be very careful with brands out there or just anything in general because a lot of people nowadays Want to scam so be very very cautious out there and just be very aware of your surroundings do your research Be very careful before you sign a contract and all that kind of stuff and I will see you guys on the next one I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys